Hello, I'm Jeff, and today on Backroads Tourist, I want to take you with me on the cruise we took to Alaska in May of 2022. This was the worst cruise we've ever been on, but we'd gladly go on it again. Stick around to find out why. Let me address the elephant in the room. Why was this the worst cruise we've ever been on? Well, we knew there were going to be problems. Our cruise was on the Crown Princess, and this was only her second sailing since the COVID shutdown. So we knew the staff would still be getting into their routines and working the bugs out. So we were prepared for that. We also knew that the Crown Princess was undergoing some engine maintenance on this trip, so we'd be sailing at about half speed. It also changed our itinerary. We dropped Ketchikan, but we did add a few hours at Icy Strait Point. It also shortened our time in Juneau. We still got to spend a full day in Skagway and cruise through beautiful Glacier Bay. On our first night, we ate in the Botticelli dining room in the back of the ship, and it was pretty obvious there were some engine issues going on. There were loud noises throughout the dining room and pretty significant vibrations throughout our meal. Still, the food and the company were both excellent. Our first port of call was Juneau, and we had a few hours before our afternoon whale watch excursion, so we walked into town and did some shopping and, of course, dropped off at the famous Red Dog Saloon, where I tried their famous signature drink, the Duck Fart. Very excited, Juneau, Alaska, we're about to go whale watching. On our whale watching excursion, we saw about half a dozen whales, as well as stellar sea lions, harbor seals, and bald eagles. The day started off warm and sunny, but during the excursion, some clouds and sprinkles moved in, and things started to cool down just a bit. The next day, we were in beautiful Skagway and ready to ride the White Pass and Yukon Railway. We did the same excursion the last time we cruised to Alaska in 2015, and it was just as good the second time around. The scenery just can't be beat. By the way, I have another video that gives you 10 tips if you're planning on taking the train ride. I'll put a link to that at the end of this video. And of course, both before and after the train ride, we have plenty of time to explore downtown Skagway. The following day, we hit another glitch in our cruise. Sometime during the night, the power had gone off in our section of the ship and we had no electricity. It took a few hours, but Princess got things taken care of and we had no more problems for the rest of the cruise. Today was the highlight of the entire cruise, sailing through Glacier Bay National Park. The scenery was nothing short of stunning. Park rangers came on board to give educational talks and give us pointers on where to look for wildlife. Now, we did see a few whales and some eagles, but that was about it. Now, we did hear that some people saw mountain goats, but we weren't quite that lucky. However, we did get to see Marjorie Glacier calves several times. Now, this is what everyone hopes to experience, and once you do, it's one of those things you just don't forget. Only two cruise ships per day are allowed into Glacier Bay, so if you're planning on cruise, you may want to make sure that your ship is one of them. After Glacier Bay, we had a very brief stop in Icy Strait Point. Icy Strait Point was not on the original itinerary, but it was added to sort of make up for canceling Ketchikan. Since we were only there for a few hours, we didn't go on any excursions. We just strolled around and relaxed and did a little bit of sightseeing and shopping. 
The best and worst part of this cruise was yet to come. But before I tell you about that, I'd like to ask you to please hit that like button on this video and consider subscribing to Backroads Tourist. I travel to a lot of fun places. Some of them are beautiful, some are quirky, some are just plain weird, and I'd like to show them to you. It costs you nothing to subscribe, and if you hit that notification bell, you're going to be the first to know when I upload new videos. I'd really appreciate it. The following day was a sea day, so we spent a lot of time relaxing in the casino. My wife and I both enjoy playing the machines, and Gatsby's Casino on the Crown Princess was very good to us. By the end of the cruise, my wife was up by about $300, and I was ahead by $1,300. I have another video that gives you a tour of the casino and tells you which machines were paying off for us. I'll put up a link to that video, too. I was worried that since this was only the second sailing for the Crown Princess, that the entertainment would still have some rough edges, but I was dead wrong on that. The production shows were all incredible. From the talent, to the choreography, to the costumes and lighting, it was all up to princess standards. I wish I could show you some video of the shows, but they don't allow any recording due to copyright concerns. But I can tell you they got standing ovations every night, and they deserved them. I also want to say that the food was excellent. Whether we were eating in a specialty restaurant, the main dining room, or the buffet, we never had a bad meal. Our final stop in Victoria was a big disappointment. We were scheduled to be there from 7 till midnight, but because of delays, we didn't arrive until 8.15. And because of other holdups, we didn't get off the ship until 9.30, giving us just over two hours in port, and almost everything was closed by then. The next morning we were back in Seattle and off to the airport to catch our flight home. So here's the takeaway. The cruise wasn't perfect, but we got to see just about everything we really wanted to, like Glacier Bay. Princess gave us a good amount of onboard credit as compensation, and my wife and I had fun. But here's the kicker. Princess also gave us 50% future cruise credit, which means that 50% of what we spend on our cabin on this Alaska cruise could be applied to our next cruise. We thought that was a very decent thing for Princess to do. We knew going in that there were going to be glitches on this cruise, and to be honest, there were fewer than I thought there would be, but we had fun, we met great people, the casino treated us well, and we got to experience the jaw-dropping beauty of Alaska. So yeah, we definitely go on this cruise again. Click on one of these videos for my 10 tips on riding the White Pass and Yukon Railway and Skagway, or for a tour of Gatsby's Casino on the Crown Princess. Thanks for coming with me today. I'm Jeff, and I'll see you on the back roads.